Precious ones, thank you God, such a number of testimonies are simply incredible. Of course, yesterday's service, last night was something amazing, the Holy Spirit really moved so much, you all really have fire, your eyes are burning, incredibly thank God, thank God. Everyone who is with us now, I greet all our home groups, I greet every person, and now you can sit down. I welcome all of you. Today we have a very interesting topic, a very important topic and, of course, this is a topic that concerns every person. You know, I would like for us to spend all our time today on questions and answers, I'll just make a short introduction and then I'd like to hear your questions. I, I believe the Holy Spirit will help me to answer them. Because we talk a lot about family, we talk a lot about personal life, but perhaps each of you has something that is important to you. And I believe that the Holy Spirit will speak to every heart today. So, when we talk about personal life, it is clear that this concept includes everything that concerns your personal life. If you already have a family, then it's about family. If you don't have a family yet, it's about you and your personal life. Therefore, in any position you are in, this is your topic. And you know, my friend, what I know, what I see all the time. You know that the devil has a goal. What is his goal? It is written in the Bible. To kill and destroy. His goal is to steal faith and then kill a person physically. First of all through illness and so on and then destroy a person in hell. And you should also know that Satan is a person who has one important purpose, to bring us pain, to bring us fear and horror. And think now how you can bring a person the greatest pain into his soul, through his personal life, that is, through loved ones, through family, through some problems specifically in. This concerns personal life most of all. If we are talking about pain, then the pain of betrayal is the hardest, that is, when it is the betrayal of a loved one, husband or wife. The greatest pain is if it concerns the husband or wife, perhaps the parents. I have heard such testimonies. I heard the story of one girl, she had a terrible grudge against her father, because he was a very cruel person, he beat her mother, he even beat the children, but he beat them. They often simply ran away from home and waited for him to calm down. With the deepest resentment towards him, you know that the worst thing is that this resentment led to problems in her personal life. It would seem, but this should not concern her at all. But no, this resentment against her father became the reason that she developed resentment and distrust, specifically towards all men. Therefore, it was very difficult for her, firstly, to get married, she got married, still being married, to trust her husband, to really give her life to his husband's hands. 
Боль обиды самая большая. Der Schmerz der Beleidigung ist der allergrößte. She couldn't believe him because she always had fear inside her what she saw in her mother, in her family, in such a smaller or in some other way. Ich habe solche Zeugnisse gehört. Я слышала историю одной девушки. Warm, but it may happen again. Plus, physically, even just the touch of her husband immediately caused her something like disgust. Therefore, even physical intimacy she had was a very difficult topic in life. And imagine how she lived. Thank God that the Holy Spirit is on earth today and he is working miracles. When she was in a meeting the Holy Spirit moved while she was praying. And then there was a prayer just for forgiveness and we prayed that the Holy Spirit would help forgive. The Apostle and I did not know about the situation in this girl's life. When we pray, we don't know what exactly is happening in your life and imagine, the Holy Spirit touched it so strongly that she experienced complete liberation, hallelujah, complete liberation. It was incredible because it immediately transformed her whole life. Imagine, but she literally came home a different person and her relationship with her husband immediately that evening became completely new. Her husband could not recognize her, she hugged him, she hugged him told him how much she loved him. Although before that, she practically never said such words to him and she was so happy and did not wince when he touched her, on the contrary. Immediately everything improved in her life. She and her husband became happy, but besides this, she called her father and she told him that she forgives him. And during this conversation, he asked her for forgiveness. He told her how painful and ashamed he was that he had brought so many horrors to his family. And you know, they were reconciled and the Holy Spirit did all this. Therefore, when we talk about personal life today, this applies to the relationship between husband and wife and the relationship between parents and children. Everything in your personal life and what concerns it. And the devil, he tries to bring destruction into personal life, so when we speak for the family, so that. There was no divorce. When a divorce occurs in a family, and there were children, you know what after this. Divorce comes to the family, the curse of divorce. A family in which a kind of curse is already beginning to follow, and the children are already doomed to have one more time in their lives. Water. Children who saw their parents divorce will leave an imprint on their lives, it will definitely have a negative impact for the rest of their lives. Each of you can analyze your life. I often hear stories about how a man, for example, all his life he saw how his father drinks, how his father offends his mother, he himself, his little heart experienced this pain so much when he saw how. Father insults mother. He said in childhood, throughout his youth he said, I will never be like that, I will not be like my father, but imagine, he gets married in a little time. And he starts drinking, it came suddenly, he didn't even understand how he had already become an alcohol-dependent person. 
And he went through a shock when he came home for the first time and started shouting at his wife. He shouted the same words that his father shouted. He raised his hand to her. He simply repeated everything his father did. The next day, when he was already sober, he cried, he cried, still the most terrible thing that could happen in his life. This was to repeat the fate of his father. But he couldn't do anything, it was repeated again and again. Listen, only God can set you free, only God can fix this, but it's when God comes to you, then he sets you free. In this situation, the generational curse is destroyed, the curse of alcoholism is destroyed, and happiness comes to the family. This guy is free, and he is a different person, you no longer need to repeat the fate of your parents. I heard another story, it happened before my eyes, perhaps it was told more than once, listen, there was a family and there were three girls in the family. One of them, having already become an adult, came to our church with a completely broken life. She was married, had two sons, she divorced her husband, and she had been alone for a long time. Her personal life was not working out in any way, it was getting worse and worse. One day during prayer, imagine, God touches her and the Holy Spirit reveals to her the reason why her personal life is so unhappy. When the Holy Spirit showed her the story of what happened in her distant childhood, as if she saw from the outside what happened then, she was still small then and her childish mind could not accommodate it all and she seemed to have forgotten about it. What happened there? She had two more sisters. The older sister was already in her teens, they lived in the village and everyone knew each other. And one guy raped her sister, she was just terrified, this girl came home, she was crying, her mom said, we won't leave it like this, we'll file a report. And they applied. But then this guy's mother came to her house and started asking her to drop a statement, because you'll ruin my son's whole life, and they started arguing. This girl's mother proved to her that he had already ruined her daughter's whole life. The guy's mother begged her to take the application, the girl's mother said, Flatly, no, I won't take it. And then this guy's mother spoke the words. You know, words spoken with some kind of enormous pain or bitterness and hatred, can have such power and influence that a curse can really come into the lives of those to whom it is spoken. Imagine, she says, I curse your entire family, I curse your children, none of them will be happy in their personal lives, they won't even go out. Und angefangen hat, seine Frau anzuschreien. 
married, they will not be happy, they will be lonely, and everything will be bad for them. She shouted these words and left, and you know, at that moment, no one paid any attention to it. It's clear, a woman who is worried, she can shout anything and imagine, this older girl, because of this, after some time she got married. Gave birth to children and immediately divorced. And then she's alone, and that's it. And not only the middle sister, the same story, and this younger girl, the same story. They were already older. The sisters were already quite old. They were already over 40 years old and had nothing in their lives. And when she saw it in prayer at that moment, the whole curse was a family. And in that family there were three sons. One of them was destroyed. She came to us in the church с полностью разбитой жизнью. Mit einem vollkommen zerstörten Leben. Она была замужем. Sie war verheiratet. And imagine when the curse сыновей. Sie hat zwei Söhne geboren. С мужем она развелась. Sie hat sich von ihrem Mann scheiden lassen. И уже долгое долгое время она была одна. Und eine lange Zeit war sie allein. And imagine when the curse broke. She got mixed. Ihr Privatleben war einfach unglücklich. Было все хуже и хуже. Alles wurde immer schlimmer und schlimmer. She got married within a month and it was a miracle. Doch einst während des Gebets. Представляете, Бог касается ее. Because this guy who asked her to marry him, причину, почему ее личная жизнь настолько несчастна, когда Дух Святой показывает ей историю, то, что произошло, Der Heilige Geist hat ihr gezeigt, was He in ihrer Kindheit geschehen ist. Он как будто просто поместил ее, и она как будто со стороны. She got married, had a child. Had a child. Had a child. Ihr Kindesverstand konnte das noch nicht alles fassen. Und sie hat das quasi vergessen. Her middle sister, sie hatte noch zwei weitere Schwestern, und die ältere Schwester, also got married. И вот один парень, они жили в поселке. Все друг друга знали. И один парень изнасиловал ее сестру. Она была просто в ужасе, эта девочка. By that time, her older sister, she had already died. И ее мама сказала, мы не оставим этого так, мы подадим заявление. But the middle sister and she но Тут к ней, к ней в дом пришла мама этого парня. Their curse was broken. И начала ее просить. Забери заявление. Потому что ты же испортишь всю жизнь моему сыну. Why am I telling you all these stories? И они начали спорить. 
Мама этой девушки доказывала ей, что он уже испортил всю жизнь ее дочери. Because I want to show you that the devil has a goal. Не пойте же сына забрать заявление. Zerstöre doch nicht das Leben meines Sohnes, sondern nimm die Anzeige zurück. Мама девочки сказала на отрез: нет, я не заберу. True personal life. И тогда мать этого парня произнесла слова. Знаешь, слова, сказанные с, вот, с огромной болью или горечью, Worte, или ненавистью, могут иметь такую силу и влияние, что проклятие действительно может Because the greatest pain comes when personal life is destroyed. И представьте, она говорит, я проклинаю весь твой род, я проклинаю твоих детей, никто из них не будет счастлив в своей личной жизни. But God wants to make you happy precisely through your personal life. Они не выйдут замуж, а вот они не будут счастливы, они будут одиноки. И у них будет все плохо. Она выкрикнула эти слова и ушла. И знаешь, в тот момент you understand that in a family a particular person can live like hell. Женщина, которая переживает, она может кричать что угодно. Но вот шло время. On this earth life can be hell or it can be heaven and God's goal is for the family to be heaven. Родила детей и тут же развелась. И потом одна и все, и только одна. Средняя сестра. Та же история. И вот эта младшая девочка. Та же история. Они уже были, старшие сестры уже были довольно, довольно взрослые. So that the family brings a person maximum satisfaction, strength, support, inspiration, everything a person needs. На молитве увидела это все. Проклятие разрушилось. И представьте, когда проклятие разрушилось, она вот буквально в течение месяца вышла замуж. И это было чудо, потому что этот парень, который ей предложил замуж, acceptance, understanding, care, admiration, everything that he needs, it all should come in his family. Замуж выйти она не могла. Она вышла замуж, у нее родился ребенок еще, ее семья была восстановлена. Более того, ее средняя сестра тоже вышла замуж. И когда Бог реально строит эту семью, Он благословляет вашу личную жизнь. Ее старшая сестра, она уже умерла. Ну вот, средняя сестра и она Проклятие разрушилось. Воздай Богу славу. Почему я вам рассказываю все эти истории? Therefore, when we pray today, дьявол имеет цель через личную жизнь сделать нас несчастными. Потому что самая большая боль приходит, когда With you, I will specifically pray that where there is a curse that came from childhood or from past generations, specifically to personal life, человек может жить или в аду на этой земле. For these curses to be broken, 
или она может быть раем. И цель Бога, чтобы семья была раем. Чтобы семья приносила человеку максимальное удовлетворение. Where there is something that binds, not forgiveness, resentment, so that it is destroyed. Вдохновение. Все необходимое. Dass du alles Mögliche bekommst. Все, в чем человек нуждается. Alles, was du brauchst. Принятие. Die Annahme. Понимание, забота. Das Verständnis, die Fürsorge. Восхищение. Dass man dich bewundert. Вот все, в чем он нуждается. Alles, was der Mensch braucht. Это Everything that prevents your family from being happy, perhaps when someone is jealous, brings a curse on the family. Эту семью строит Бог. Und wenn Gott in der Tat diese Familie gründet, он благословляет твою личную жизнь. Тогда так и происходит. So. Это цель Бога. Das ist das Ziel Поэтому, когда мы сегодня будем молиться с вами, Wenn wir heute also beten werden, я конкретно буду молиться. Ich Everything is live. Whoever watches today during this prayer, God will work real miracles, therefore, Prepare your heart and expect a miracle from it. Konkret auf dem Privatleben. So dass diese Flüche gebrochen werden. Dort, wo es etwas gab, was dich gebunden hat. Die Nichtvergebung. Die Beleidigung. God is able to accomplish the most impossible and most importantly, God wants to do it. When jemand im Neid наводит проклятие на семью, eine Familie verflucht hat, я буду молиться, чтобы все это было разрушено. Ich werde dafür beten, dass das alles gebrochen wird. Все в прямом эфире, кто смотрит. Alle in der Live-Übertragung. This is what you should hear today, God wants. When you understand that this is his desire, then it is much easier for you to believe that. Вот это ты должен услышать сегодня. Бог хочет это. God will do it. Когда ты это понимаешь, Wenn du das что verstehst, это Его желание, dass das sein Wunsch ist, тогда ты, тебе намного легче When you understand that God's goal is for the devil to be put to shame, that again and again God wants to free his children and for the devil to be put to shame. Особенно, когда это касается личной жизни. Especially when it comes to your personal life. So we will pray.